Hello Jericho Squared, welcome back to my channel and if you're new to this channel, a very very warm welcome to you. Today's recipe, I am going to be showing you how I made this scrumptious, delicious, comforting Nigerian mackerel fish light soup. Friends, this soup is so quick and easy to make yet it's so so nutritious and it's so delicious. Come along with me to my kitchen. Let me show you how I made this <laughs> and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. friends let's get started so here i am going to use about three mackerel fish for this recipe and i have cut them up into three pieces each i have washed them thoroughly removed all the ugly gills and everything you will find in it i have made some incisions on my fish and the reason is so that the flavors can infuse very well into my fish i am going to season this with some salt and some uh, red chili pepper grounded pepper and i'm going to massage that well and i'll set this aside to marinate in the fridge for about two to three hours friends this step is not necessary it's you can absolutely skip absolutely skip this part and your soup will still be delicious but i want to give it an extra umami taste okay so I am you when you're massaging you make sure that your pepper and salt is infused well into those incisions and those parts where you removed extracted the gills as well so now I'm going to cover and set that aside so here I got some onions ginger garlic tomatoes uh, abonero pepper scotch bonnet pepper chili pepper <laughs> and of course some long sweet pepper that's our own locally grown bell pepper here so I'm going to put them in a pot like this so after prepping and cutting them and the ginger I am going to season with some salt And then next, I am using these two um, brands of pepper soup spices. I am going to add that into my tomatoes and I will incorporate some water and put in the fire to cook for about 30 minutes. The reason why I am adding the pepper soup spices is it's going to enrich our sauce and it's going to take away the, arm, the smell that comes with the fish because I am not frying my mackerel fish for this recipe. Some fry it, but I find it is not really necessary. This this way it, it removes all the smell that comes with the fish now this is after 30 minutes my tomatoes has cooked well it's soft and tender and I am going to let that cool down completely while it's cooling down I have already washed my vegetable I've washed it with salt and vinegar thoroughly and we're going to prep that and cut it up you can use if you do not have spinach this is the spinach some call it green leaf but we, this is what we call spinach in my place and here in Lagos I discovered they call it a green leaves if you do not have this then you can use uh, you can use the or the normal spinach or you can use the water leaf yes water leaf works fantastically for this recipe too because it gives it a little bit of a slime and friends it's so delicious but this is what I have available and I love to use this as well because this is what my mom always uses but when you're using this spinach you make sure that your sauce is very spicy spicy because it has is sort of bland it has a way of absorbing all the flavors okay you know what i mean <laughs> all right friends so if you're new to my channel a very warm welcome to you here are the rest of my ingredients this green pepper yellow pepper and this curry leaves fresh curry leaves and i got me some crayfish some salt and some seasoning cube so next, uh, my tomatoes has cooled down completely and I am going to blend that and set aside. I, if I want to follow my daughter's own, this video won't go on today. She has been on my case, but you know what? I'm going to let it go like this is me. <laughs> this is Derek's infusion for you. We're in this with my daughter. Oh yes. 
<laughs> all right friends so after blending until it is nice and smooth we're going to pour all of this paste in a pot and i rinse that and i'm adding water to thin out the broth now you can add this water to the quantity that you desire if you want your soup to be a bit thicker than this then reduce the amount of water but i want my soup to be really really light so i went in with some crayfish and my seasoning cube and of course i'm going to incorporate some salt as well i'm going to give that a quick stir and let it simmer for a bit once it starts to simmer i'm going to bring out my fish and i'm going to incorporate it into the sauce friends welcome to my channel okay please consider being a part of this family by clicking on that subscribe button and smash on that notification bell that's the only way you can get notified anytime i upload a new video like this why should i subscribe to jerica's infusion Ooh, friends you will never ever run out of creative delicious budget friendly ideas in that your kitchen gourmet ideas budget friendly ideas delicious recipes dropping in every single day or any other day okay and i will make you love make you fall in love with cooking to my old viewers subscribers those who are always stopping by to support thank you so much for your constant support i love you guys so i have incorporated my fish what i am going to do next is i am going to cover and let this simmer for about 45 minutes the reason for letting this simmer once it comes to a boil i'm regulating the heat and the reason is when you let your fish when you let your soup to simmer in fact if not because we are rushing to eat dinner i'll have let this simmer for about two hours slow cooking your soups Ooh, it has a way of extracting every single flavor it enriches it gives it that umami taste it takes it to the next level it has never fueled me so anytime you see me making a quick one is because it is a quick one but when i mean to cook <laughs> you will know the difference that doesn't mean this is not delicious it is absolutely delicious but i know what i am talking about so i incorporated my fresh curry leaves and some of my uh, peppers and the reason for the addition of this pepper is so that if anybody wants more extra heat you can break it in your soup and just enjoy after four to five minutes our soup is ready you can see nothing broke apart every piece of fish is intact so if you notice i've been moving eight things around gently in the pot and this actually keeps firm that's one of the benefits of marinating this fish i've incorporated my spinach at this point and i am just going to let it cook for all of two minutes turn off the heat and the residual heat will cook up the rest of our vegetables my mom would have put it off since because she believes that the nutritional value of vegetables is lost once you cook it for five minutes our fish light soup mackerel fish light soup is ready this is our nigerian mackerel fish light soup Ooh, <laughs> i love me this soup i am going to enjoy this with some pounded yam it goes perfectly well with gary soft gary <laughs> we love soft food way back there thank you for watching see you guys in my next video